Hey everyone, um, we're back with chapter 10, lesson eight. Um, I have a drink this time in case I start to cough again. Hopefully uh, that doesn't happen again. I'll try to make it through this whole lesson. Um, this is the last lesson of the chapter, so let's just get right to it. Um, lesson eight is called, um, it's a problem solving investigation and we're looking for extra or missing information. So a lot of times in um, word problems, they like to give you some extra information to kind of maybe mess you up a little bit, trick you. All right, um, let's get right to it. First example, it says, on the first day, Gabriella's family traveled three-tenths of a road trip. On the second day, they traveled 27 one-hundredths of the trip. They traveled four days. What part of their trip did they travel in the first two days? So we know they traveled three tenths and 27 tenths or 27 hundredths. All right, so first understand what facts do you know? Um, we know that Gabriella's family traveled three tenths of a road trip on the first day and 27 one hundredths of the trip on the second day and that they traveled for four days. What part do we need to find? The part of the trip that we need to find is what they traveled in the first two days plan. The fact that they traveled four days is just extra information. It doesn't matter what they traveled on those last two days because we're only looking for what they traveled on the first two days. So I have to find three tenths plus 27 hundredths. Now, if you're looking at this, do you see a problem? Okay. The problem you should see is that I can't add tenths and hundredths. That would be like adding apples to bananas. You can't do it. So you have to do some changing, okay? Um, three tenths plus 27 hundredths, I wanna make both of my numbers have a 100 as a denominator. So three tenths would turn into 31 hundredths because three tenths equals blank one hundredths. What do I do to that 10 to make it 100? I multiply it by 10, so I also have to do that to my 3 to make it 30. Okay, that's just a little review of something we've done in a previous lesson. Okay, so 3 tenths plus 27 hundredths is the same as 30 one hundredths plus 27 one hundredths. Well, I know when adding um, fractions, I don't add the denominator, so I keep that at 100. And then I add 30 plus 27 to get 57, okay? So Gabriella's family traveled 57 one hundredths of their trip in the first two days. And it says, does my answer make sense? Of course it makes sense because I know that I changed this correctly and I know that I added this correctly because I know how to add fractions, okay? I'm not gonna write anything there. I wouldn't worry about that part. All right, let's move on to the next example or the next question. I don't even think that's an example. All right, let's look at this. Charlotte walked six tenths mile to school. After school, she walked 24 one hundredths mile to, to her friend's house. How much time does it take? How much time does it take Charlotte to walk to school and to her friend's house? How much time? Huh. Now, when I'm looking at this, this isn't making sense because I know how far she walked and I know how far she walked. Let's see. Let's see what we can figure out here. What facts do I know? I know that she walked six tenths mile to school. I know that she walked 24 one hundredths mile to her friend's house. Okay, and that's about all I know, okay? I wanna, need, I wanna find how much time it takes Charlotte to walk to school in her friend's house. Now, rather than writing all of that here, I'm just gonna underline it. How much time does it take Charlotte to walk to school in her friend's house? Now, let's go back and look at the, the this lesson. Extra or missing information. Now, when I'm reading this, do I maybe have some missing information? I think I do. I think that 
they didn't tell me how long it took to walk six tenths of a mile or how long it took to walk 24 one hundredths of a mile. So the fact that I need to figure out how long it took her or how much time it took her to get there, I don't think I have enough information. So if I came across a problem like this, I might have to just say not enough information. Okay. So hopefully our next one, I'm just going to say info instead of writing all that out. Not enough info on that one. Okay. So pay attention to your questions because you know, you might have just automatically looked at that and thought, oh, six tenths plus 24 one hundredths, beep, 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 done it, and you know, you've been done. Because, you know, I would say, oh, I changed six tenths to 60 one hundredths, add that up and get, uh, what, 84 one hundredths is how far she walked. But it didn't, it didn't say how far did she walk, it said how much time. We don't know from this info. So, not enough info on this one. Not enough info. Okay, let's move over here. Hopefully, they give us enough info on these. All right. Determine if there is extra or missing information to solve each problem, then solve if possible, okay? So it was not possible to solve this one. Let's see if we can possibly solve these. Okay, let's see. There are 100 movies at the store. 30 one hundredths are action movies, 50 one hundredths are comedies, and 20 one hundredths are adventure movies. What part of the movies are action or comedy? Okay. So, I want to find what part are action or comedy, okay? So, let's go, go back at my, uh, look at my question here. There are 100 movies at the store. 30 one hundredths are action. So, I'm just going to write that right under action. 50 one hundredths are comedies, okay? And that's all I need to know. But then it also says, and 2100 star adventure movies. I don't need to know that. I'm just going to cross it out. That's just some extra information that's going to try to mess me up. I don't need that. Okay. What part of the movies are action or comedy? So all I need to do is add that up, and it's super simple. 80 one hundredths. Okay. Or if I wanted to simplify that, I could take it down to 8 tenths. And then I might say, oh my goodness, I can simplify that some more. So what number goes evenly into 8 and 10, 2. So I could divide 8 by 2 and 10 by 2 and get 4 fifths. So 4 fifths of those movies are action or comedy, okay? So you have to use a lot of the skills that we previously learned. Adding fractions, simplifying fractions, um, and things like that to, to figure out this problem. And you also want to be sure to ignore that extra information. You don't want that to mess you up, okay? Let's look at number two. In a basketball game, the red team scored three-tenths of the baskets during the first half and four-tenths of the baskets during the second half. The blue team had 10 players. How many baskets did the red team score during the first half and second half of the game? Okay, so let's think about this. There's all kinds of info going on in here. Let's go back and look at it a little bit at a time. In the basketball game, the red team scored three-tenths of their baskets in the first half and four-tenths of their baskets during the second half. I'm just going to kind of write it like that just to keep my information straight. The blue team had 10 players. Well, I don't care. That didn't have anything to do with this question, did it? I don't care about this, that blue team. How many baskets did the red team score during the first and second half of the game? Okay, so let's think about this. It lets me know that they scored three-tenths of the baskets and four-tenths of the baskets, but it doesn't tell me how many baskets. It just tells me what fraction of the baskets. So in this one, not enough info. Okay, so you have to think about, it's asking you how many, not what fraction of, okay? Not enough info. If it had said, you know, um, they had scored three-tenths of their 20 baskets and four-tenths of their 20 baskets, if they had shot 20 times in the first and second quarter, then I could figure that out. But not knowing how many times they shot is not going to help me out here because I have to know how many times they shot to figure out how many they made. So in that question, there is just not enough information. I know that's a little bit confusing, but you have to really put on your thinking cap for these questions. 
okay? All right, number three, let's look at it and see if we can figure it out. Alexia and her family went on vacation. They walked one tenth of a mile to the beach and two tenths a mile to the souvenir shop. Then they walked back to the beach. How far did they walk in all? So let's think about this. If I'm going, okay. Mm, okay, let's let's think about this. If they walked one tenth mile to the beach, okay, and then plus two tenths mile to the souvenir shop, okay, they walked three tenths mile, okay. But then it says then they walked back to the beach, okay. That makes sense. So if it was two tenths mile from the souvenir shop from the beach to the souvenir shop, then it's two tenths mile from the souvenir shop to the beach. So I need to add on two tenths mile more, okay? Because that's when they walked back to the beach. So how far did they walk in all? They walked five tenths of a mile, or I could say five is half of 10, so they walked one half mile in total. Now I hope that's right because these are a little bit confusing um, because, you know, I don't, oh, yeah, these are a little bit confusing, guys. I, don't, I understand if you get a little bit lost on these because it's a little bit hard for Miss Milam, too. Okay, because, you know, sometimes if they walked one-tenths mile to the beach and then two-tenths mile to the souvenir shop, then they walked back to the beach. I'm assuming they're walking back to the beach from the souvenir shop, Okay. I kind of have to assume a little bit in order to get these answers. So sometimes I'm like, eh, maybe there's not enough info, but maybe I could like assume a little bit. So you kind of just have to use your head on these. Okay, let's turn to the back and see if we can figure these out. All right. Um, so in the corner of this page, it gives you some pretty helpful information. It says use any strategy to solve each problem. It says determine extra or missing information, use logical reasoning, look for a pattern and make a model. I really like the make a model thing because sometimes you just need to draw a picture to figure it out. I always tell my students that all the time. Draw a picture. See what you can find out when, once you draw it in a picture. And usually it helps. So let's work through these and see if drawing a picture might help with some of these. <clears throat> Trina is making friendship bracelets. One tenth of the bracelets are blue. Some of the bracelets are red and some are purple. How many are blue and purple? Okay. Let's do some assuming here. Let's assume she only she's only making three different kinds. One tenth are blue. Some, we don't know how many, are red. And some are purple. Okay? So if I want to know how many of these are together, red and purple, I know that ten tenths make a whole. And I took away from that the blue, which is one tenth. Okay, so then that leaves me with nine tenths bracelets left. Now, if all the rest of the bra bracelets are red and purple, then that means nine tenths of them are red and purple. It doesn't tell me if she has other colors. Okay, so this is one where you're maybe like, well, maybe there's enough information if she's only making three different color bracelets, but it doesn't tell me that. Okay, so I can kind of make an educated guess here, okay? My educated guess is that nine-tenths of the bracelets are red or purple, okay? Um, so I think that's probably the right answer on this one. All right, number five, find the next number in the pattern below. Explain how you found that number. Oh boy, let's see what we can do here. We've got 15 one-hundredths, okay? Three tenths. Now, as I'm looking at this, it goes from hundredths to tenths to hundredths to tenths to hundredths to tenths. Okay, I want to change these to hundredths because I think that might help me out a little bit. So, three tenths is 30 one hundredths because I just multiply the uh, denominator and the numerator by 10. Okay, so then I'm just going to keep going because this one's already have this one already has hundredths on the bottom. Okay, and then I'm going to say, okay, six tenths would be. 60 one hundredths because I'm keeping that hundred on the bottom and to get from six tenths to hundredths, I'm going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by 10. Okay, so then I have um, 75 
one hundredths. Now let's see if we can kind of see a relationship here to figure out what our next number will be. So I know that my bot I want to keep my bottom number as one hundred for now because I'm going to have to change it to tenths here in a second because um, if I'm reporting exactly what would be in this lineup because it's ten or hundred ten hundred ten hundred ten but I need to figure it out as hundreds first. Okay, so I go fifteen thirty forty five sixty. 75, okay, what am I doing every time to get to the next number? Well, 15 plus 15 is 30. Okay, let's see if that keeps working. 30 plus 15 is 45, okay, plus 15, plus 15. So 75 plus 15 is going to be 90 one hundredths, but I wanna know the next number in the pattern, and it's not gonna be one hundredths because, like I said a second ago, it goes hundreds, tenths, hundreds, tenths, hundreds. So to get this down to tenths, I'm gonna cancel out those zeros, so my next number would be nine tenths, okay? Hopefully I explained that pretty well for you to figure out. All right, let's look at number six. The fourth grade classes voted on their favorite flavor of ice cream. Three-tenths of the students voted for strawberry. I'm just going to go ahead and write that out as I go. Strawberry. Okay. 21 one-hundredths of the students voted for vanilla. I'm going to write that down. Okay. And four-tenths of the students voted for chocolate. Oh, C-H-O-C-O-L-A-T-E. Sorry. All right. How many students voted for vanilla or chocolate? Oh, goodness. Now, this is one of those that says how many, not what fraction of. I could find the fraction of students because four-tenths would be the same as 40 one-hundredths, and 40 plus 21 is 61 one-hundredths, but it didn't say what fraction of the students. It said how many students voted for vanilla or chocolate. If there by chance were 100 students that they um, surveyed, then 61 of them would have chosen that. But it doesn't say we surveyed 100 students. It only says we surveyed some fourth grade classes. Now, if you were at my school sur surveying the fourth grade classes, there's not 100 students. So I don't know which school they were at, and I don't know how many students were in the fourth grade to start with, so eh, not enough info, guys. Not enough. Can't spell today. Info. There we go. Oh, goodness. Having a hard time today. Okay, so not enough info on that. Like, I could figure it out a little bit, but there's just not enough info. All right, let's look at number seven, the last one. This lesson is crazy. Um, I'm, I'm glad it's going to be over. Okay. Harper and his mom are making trail mix for a party. Two-tenths of the trail mix is pretzels. That's my least favorite part of a trail mix. Um, and 32 one-hundredths of the trail mix is cereal. That seems like a weird thing to put in a trail mix. I don't think I've ever had a trail mix with cereal. The party starts at 1 p.m. Uh, what? We don't care. How much of the trail mix is pretzels or cereal? Um... The party, we don't care when the party starts. It has, doesn't have a thing to do with this trail mix. All right, so we want to know how much is pretzels or cereal. Okay, this is one we can do. They just gave us a little extra info that we didn't care about. Okay, I know that I can't add tenths and hundredths, so I have to change my tenths into hundredths. And to do that, I multiply the denominator and the numerator by 10, which would give me 20 one hundredths. So 20 one hundredths plus 32 one hundredths is 52 one hundredths of that trail mix is pretzels or cereal. We had enough information on that one. We actually had too much information. All right, so what you wanna do now is do the homework page. There's only four questions, so that's not bad. And then have somebody check you and then do um, the lesson or the check in Schoology. Um, if you're in my class, I know some people that have been watching these are not in my class. I actually had somebody comment on one of my videos and said they were watching all the way from California and I'm all the way in West Virginia. So that is a long trip across the United States for somebody to be watching my video. So thanks for watching if you're not in my class. I love it. All right, so if you are in my class, do the check on Schoology, and then I'll see everybody in the next lesson. Bye!